Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 eyeshadow palettes for spring. So if you want to see what my top picks are, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Now, I did this video last year, so if you want 10 more palettes, I still stand by the picks from that video, so I will link it down below. I actually had to take a couple out from this video, so it could be different than last year's. When I do these videos, I try and do an even range of old palettes, new palettes, inexpensive, more expensive, all of that good stuff. I just like to have a nice even mix of every category that I can give you guys. More than anything, this type of video is just to encourage you to pull out palettes that you already have. You of course aren't limited to the colors that you wear every season, but it's always fun to kind of stick to a theme, you know what I mean? So when it comes to spring, my thought process is pinks and purples, pastels, really light colors on the eyelids. So that was kind of my inspiration for the palettes that I chose. My palettes are in no particular order other than alphabetical order. So that's how I did it for this time. So the first palette that we have is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Norvina Volume 4 collection. And I really enjoyed the Norvina palettes. I know a lot of people People were overwhelmed by them, weren't so crazy about them, but I really liked them. But this one was my least favorite by far of the four. I felt like this one didn't have as good quality as the first three. Nonetheless, you can absolutely get very beautiful looks with this palette. You can see this palette sticks in the purple and pink range, making it perfect for the spring. I haven't reached for this very much since I reviewed it when it came out last year. So this is my reminder to myself. This is the perfect time of year to pull this guy out. You can get pretty neutral brown looks with this corner right here and then you have an abundance of pink tones, neutral tones, and of course purple tones as well. So if you have this palette and you picked it up last year, this is a good time to pull it out. You have a lot of options for this upcoming season. The next palette that I chose is fairly new. It's very affordable and it is perfect. This is the BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palette. And as you can see, we have a lot of pastel tones in here. We have some fun pops of orange and peach for the spring. You can get pinks and purples. We even have some greens in here as well. This is the perfect spring palette. This is one of the ones that I'm most excited to share with you guys because it's so affordable and the quality is so good good. BH never ceases to amaze me with their quality and how they can keep it to such an affordable price. Everything from the packaging is really cute. It's very lightweight. It's very compact, but they still manage to fit 12 colors in here. One, two, four, eight, twelve, just kidding. <laughs> but they still manage to fit 16 colors in here. And the shimmers are so pretty and multi-dimensional on the lid. This is one of the palettes that I highly recommend. Like this video isn't made for you to go and run out and pick up new palettes. But if there was one palette that I would highly encourage you to run out and get, it's this one because it's not gonna break the bank and it's just amazing for the price and it's just perfect for this time of year. Moving on to palette number three. Not this isn't ranked though. Remember that, okay? <laughs> but the third palette I'm showing you today is from BK Beauty. This is the True Beauty eyeshadow palette, and this one is more soft than the other palettes that I'm going to show you today. So if you aren't so into wearing really bright colors for this spring, you like to stay in the more neutral, everyday kind of tones, and this palette is going to be perfect for you. It doesn't give you punches of pigment. It's more of a soft formula. It's going to give you more so of a wash. This purple right here is really pretty, and if you have this palette, try and dig into this guy a little bit more this season, but you can see we have some more pinky neutral tones here and then you get a little bit more brown down here. So I think this is a really great palette for this time of year if you are still trying to stick to more neutral colors. And I just wanted to bring some attention to this because when I first saw this palette, it didn't exactly scream spring to me, but that's the beauty in it is it's great because it's every day, but you still have those springy kind of undertones to them. 
I had to pick out at least one ColourPop palette because they have so many. So I decided to go with the Blush Crush palette. Now this one is exactly what it sounds like. It has a lot of blushy tones to it. This one I'm excited to reach for because I haven't reached for this much in the past and this truly is the perfect time of year to grab for it. And you can also use it as it blushes on the face as well. Like I can see this palette being quite versatile. You have some mauve tones here. The shimmers are really beautiful. Overall, this is a very nice quality palette from ColourPop. I believe it's only $14 at Ulta, so it is also a more affordable option that I can give you. And the packaging screams spring. You have beautiful flowers everywhere. And I just think that this is such a soft, pretty palette for this time of year. The next palette is an older palette. It's actually on sale on Sephora for 50% off. So if you have been wanting this, this is a good time to grab it. It's only like $22.50. Or if you bought it and you haven't dug out for it, the Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam is a fun one. Now this one is a little bit more deep than some of the other palettes that I'm sharing with you today. This is definitely the most unique kind of looking around at what I have because you have a lot of different colors in here. You have the pinks and purples which are typical in this video. A lot of my palettes that I'm giving you are pink and purple, but you can also get some warmer kind of looks as well. You have some green options, a couple blue options as well. So this palette is quite versatile and I thought it would be a really fun palette for spring. It's a little bit more colorful while still having very wearable options and I do really enjoy the formula of this. I don't know, Dominique Cosmetics seem to have changed and evolved a little bit over the last couple of years. So this one's kind of more of the OG Dominique Cosmetics kind of vibe. And this is a palette that I definitely didn't reach for enough. So now that I've put this out, I'm going to leave it out on my desk. I'm really excited to see what looks I can create with it because it truly is a palette that inspires me. So this is a great one that's going to make me step outside of my comfort zone and I plan on using this this spring a lot. The next palette, again, is an older one, but I couldn't think of a better palette to fit into this time of year. This is the Lime Crime Venus XL Volume 2 palette. And first of all, the packaging itself really does scream spring to me. And when you open it up, look at these beautiful muted tones. So these all kind of underlie in the pastel colors, but not an obnoxious, vibrant pastel. These definitely have more of a neutral tone to them, a little bit more earthy as well. So you have some pinky tones, a lot of sage tones, very light green. And so this one is also a unique one compared to the other palettes that I have. And it's such an inspiring palette to me. I really don't have another palette that looks like this with these colors. This palette really reminds me of a bigger version of the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. So if you like the Mini Retro Palette and you're looking for a bigger version, I mean, that really is what this Lime Crime Palette is. So I highly, highly recommend this if you like the color story. It's really really beautiful and if you have it make sure you pull it out. I'm really excited to use this one. Next up I wanted to bring a semi newer palette and I wanted something Pat McGrath in this lineup so I decided to go with the newest Pat McGrath Labs Quad. This is called the Eternal Eden Quad and essentially what it is it's just a rosy tone palette. Now if you want to use your Pat McGrath palettes this spring, really anything in the Divine Rose collection, whether that be the one, two, or this one is going to be perfect for this time of year. So this quad I haven't reached for a lot since it released. So I feel like this is something that I'm going to use when I travel, <laughs> maybe. I'm vaccinated now, you guys. Give me two weeks and I'll be good to travel domestically. <laughs> so this I feel like is one palette that I think is just very portable, very spring-like, but still pretty neutral base. But anything really in the Divine Rose line will be perfect. But I did want to bring some attention to this guy because I forget about the quads. So if I forget about them, maybe if you also forget about them, I just reminded you. Three more to go. So this next one... <sighs> I've talked a lot about this palette and its counterparts, but I wanted to bring some attention to the Rare Beauty Magnetic Spirit eyeshadow palette. They were coming out with a new one, but anyways, this one came out during the holidays, and 
This is just so perfect for spring. Don't be intimidated by the fact that it is all shimmers. That doesn't matter. You can still get full looks despite them all being shimmers. They still look great. And this is a an affordable eyeshadow palette for a high-end eyeshadow palette. It doesn't immediately break the bank. It's about $25. I think these probably might go on sale soon because they were limited edition and it's a holiday palette. I mean, don't quote me on that, but I do think um, I can foresee this going on sale. But anyways, how pretty is this for spring? You have a peachy tone, more greeny tone, and then you also have the purple tones here. I originally wasn't expecting this palette to end up in this video, but when I was looking through the palettes in my collection, I opened this and I really thought that this would be a fun one to wear this spring, which is weird because this launched over the holidays, but I really think it's more fitting during this time of year. And I don't know, when I saw this, I kind of thought it looked cheap. That was before I tried it and I wasn't sure how the quality would be. I'm here to confirm for you that the quality in this is really nice. I really enjoy this palette. The next palette, in case you've been wondering what is on my eyes, it is from this palette and I know a lot of you guys are also excited to use this palette. It is the Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson collaboration and this is the Tiny Marvels palette. Now this palette goes back in and out of stock. It sells out pretty quickly but if you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. You are putting your money towards a small company and of course Mel Thompson who is also just a light in this community so your money is going to a good place when you purchase this. And let's not mention the quality and color selection here. So this is such a beautiful palette for spring. I'm wearing the more purpley tones here. So I have Jewel B right here, this light lilac. I have this all over my crease and along my lower lash line. I like how easy this is to build up. It does start off as more of a sheer purple, but it builds up to be quite lilac. Um, and that's even without a white base. If you really want true opacity of this, use a white base underneath. I then used some of Bugaboo and that's what is adding my depth. It kind of changed the tone of this look to a little bit more warm. It's really beautiful and it blends out like a dream as all Sydney Gray shadows do. And then finally, I just used Web all over my eyelid, a little bit in my inner corner, and that just opens up my eyes. I mean, this look I think is so pretty, and it's only a three eyeshadow look. So imagine all of the other looks that you can get with this color selection. I mean, you have this green that you can do really fun things with. You can do a similar technique to what I did, except with the green all over the lid, a little bit of brown just to add some depth and this light shade all over the lid and kind of have more of a green eye, which will be really pretty. Um, you have some golds and pinky tones. I really just think that this is a phenomenal palette for spring and the quality is amazing. So I'm leaving this one out on my desk as well because it's gonna be a fun one to utilize. The last palette that I have to talk about is a newer palette. This is from Vizzy Art. This is the Violet Itondu palette. So we'll start off with the packaging. How fun and beautiful is this for Vizzy Art? Typically Vizzy Art, with them being a more professional makeup brand, they don't really have a lot of fun with their packaging. So this is fun for Vizzy Art and I love it. And when you open it up, you have more purple tones. Now I'm a huge purple tone fan. If you guys don't know that, I mean, look at my eye look right now, any opportunity I get to go for the purple colors in a palette, I do. It's just what I find myself gravitating towards, especially if you have brown eyes. Purple is so flattering to brown eyes. So I wanted to choose an all purple palette for springtime. So this is the one that I chose. I love Vizzy Arts formula. This one does have a very beautiful formula. I do have a full in-depth review if you would like to get the nitty gritty on the details of this palette, but you can really create a very vibrant purple eye with this and you can also create a more muted, neutral toned purple purple eye if you kind of stick to the bottom here. So there's a lot of versatility within the purple family in this palette and that's what Viseart does so well is the way that they arrange their colors just so you can create multiple different kinds of looks. You even have a really fun silver that you can use as well. So I mean you guys can take a look for yourself at how pretty this palette is and what you can do with it. So I just really like all of the different depths the tones and the textures of purple that this palette gives you. And this is the perfect time of year, as I've said for every single one of these palettes, to utilize this. 
All right, you guys, there we have it. That was my top 10 rank. No, it wasn't. All right, you guys, there we have it. That was my top 10 picks for palettes this spring that I want to use and that I want you to pull out of your collection if they are sitting in your makeup drawers. If you're a makeup hoarder, I hope this video was helpful for you. Or if you were looking to purchase some new palettes this spring and were looking for some inspiration, I hope that I was able to give that to you. So if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.